Hello, my name is Carolina Fonseca. I studied forensic science with human biology at Keele University, and I will be your host in this human biology course. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start with a brief introduction by defining some concepts you should know in order to understand the videos which will follow. Throughout our history as human beings, scientists have found a way to better understand the world we live in through the scientific method, which is constituted by three stages. The first one is observation. The second is formulation of hypotheses. The third one is testing of hypotheses and development of theories. The observation stage is the systematic collection of information. After this, a scientist organizes this information in order to identify patterns. Not those patterns of the clothes you buy at Primark, but in nature. Based on these patterns, hypotheses can be elaborated, which are attempts to explain a given event or fact. Once a hypothesis has been formulated, it's time to test it. And this is done through experimentation. Let's suppose that our hypothesis is that eating bananas before going to sleep improves sleep. This is not true, so don't eat bananas before sleeping. To do an experiment, we will need two groups of people. The first one is the experimental group, the one in which a change is made. In this case, they will eat bananas before bed, the poor wretches. And the second is the control group, where everything stays the same and only serves to compare. Another important concept is that of variable, of which we have two. The independent or experimental variable, which is the factor manipulated by the researcher in order to determine the relationship of the factor with the observed phenomenon. In this case, it is eating bananas before sleep. And the dependent variable, that which will or will not be affected by the independent variable, in this case, to sleep well. All this brings us to theories, which are broader sets of knowledge that seek to explain world phenomena. A theory must be elaborated with the following rules. 1. It has to be based on confirmed observations or results of experiments. 2. It has to explain the most relevant observations or experimental results. 3. It cannot contradict these observations or results. And 4. It must be consistent in that the conclusions cannot contradict the premises. Finally, we have to pay attention to the laws. A law is a statement that describes an event that takes place in certain circumstances of a medium, such as gravity. If it did not always happen, one day you might wake up levitating around the house, which sounds like fun. And that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. You can check out the whole course on our Patreon. See you next time!